This is one of the biggest conversions the ship's ever done. Uh, we had a lot of uh, big wires to run and, and sockets uh, to put into the deck to, for tie downs, um, but it's gone fairly smoothly and we're ready to go. You know, the big uh, uh, drivers on this one are dynamic positioning system for the ship. Uh, we just spent spent three days testing that uh, hard with a with a new system. It works great. Um, they just tested the ROV itself. As long as it works fine, uh, will be great. We been we work the uh, the area all the time. And the ship is designed for it. Um, Multi-mission platform. Uh, there's there's certain things like sockets in the decks um, that allow you to take off equipment, put new equipment uh, in in its place. Uh, pretty much everything about the ship is designed for that. Transition for personnel uh, is pretty good. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, fishermen in the, the deck department, which means they know how to work a deck regardless of, uh, of what we're doing. The engineers are top notch um, and can fix any problems we come across, which they just did a couple, uh, a couple nights ago. Um, and the, uh, the officers were trained for, for any of this. Uh, most of the ships I've been on have done anywhere up to, to eight different projects a year, from long lining to, to manned submersibles and back to fishing um, of different sorts and mooring recoveries all in the same year. So we're pretty used to it. We work so much with, uh, with the Canadians and uh, the other Northeast fisheries uh, studies. Uh, why not do it with this one? Um, we have the hag lines right there. We cross back and forth all the time for, for our research and other projects. Uh, yeah, it's, it just makes sense. So it's, it's exciting more than anything else to, for everybody.